gearing up to be a historic day in the Senate this afternoon. Lawmakers poised to pass a bill protecting the right to marry for same-sex couples. Our Washington, D.C. correspondent Raquel Martin explains. Seven years after the Supreme Court upheld the right to same-sex marriage, the U.S. Senate is set to vote to protect it. For so much of America, this bill was too important to risk failure. Tuesday, Majority Leader Chuck Schumer called the Respect for Marriage Act a historic milestone for same-sex couples, including those close to home. And it's personal to me. This is the tie I wore at my daughter's wedding to her wife. The bill requires the federal government to recognize same-sex marriages, even if the Supreme Court were to overturn its previous decision. Wisconsin Democrat Tammy Baldwin, the first openly gay senator, led the charge. Their marriages are and will in the future continue to be valid. 60 votes are needed for the bill to pass. In an earlier procedural vote, 12 Republicans led by Ohio Senator Rob Portman backed the effort. It's time for the Senate to settle the issue. Their support comes after Democrats included changes to protect religious institutions from violating their beliefs. Robust religious liberty protections. But the majority of GOP lawmakers remain opposed. I think the Constitution is silent on this issue. Missouri Republican Senator Josh Hawley insists same-sex marriage should be left to the states to decide and calls new protections for religious groups weak. Churches and religious organizations and religious persons, I think, will have their liberties infringed.